And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, January the 21st, 2020. It's the birthday of the English novelist Eva Ibbotson, born in Vienna in 1925, author of romance novels, including A Countess Below Stairs, Magic Flutes, Eva Ibbotson, who said, I am trying hard to break down the barrier between romantic novels and serious novels, which are respectfully reviewed. My aim is to produce books that are light, humorous, even a little erudite, but secure in their happy endings. One could call it an attempt to write, in words, a good Viennese waltz. In 2008, on this day, Marie Smith Jones of the Eak people of Alaska died. She was the last fluent native speaker of the Eak tongue, which died with her and thus became the first native Alaskan language to be declared extinct. Although a French college student named Guillaume Ledoui learned Eak from DVDs made available by the Alaskan Native Language Center. He is now considered fluent, but because he's not a native and because nobody else has achieved more than symbolic proficiency, the language is still considered dormant. 1525, on this day, a group of Swiss Protestants known as the Swiss Brethren formed their first congregation. They were under the leadership of a Dutch minister named Menno Simons, and they took their common name, the Mennonites, from his first name. Came to this country, Pennsylvania, 1683, and the United States now has the largest Mennonite population in the world. Here's a poem by Barbara Cooker, poem with an embedded line by Susan Cohen. When the evening newscast leads to despair, when my Facebook feed raises my blood pressure, when I can't listen to NPR anymore, I turn to the sky, blooming like chicory, its dearth of clouds, its vast blue endlessness. The trees are turning copper, gold, bronze, fired by the October sun, and the bees are going for broke, drunk on fermenting apples. I turn to my skillet, cast iron, you can count on, glug some olive oil, sizzle some onions, adding garlic at the end to prevent bitterness. My husband, that sweet man, enters the room, asks what's for dinner, says it smells good. He could live on garlic and onions, slowly turning to gold. The water is boiling, so I throw in some peppers, halved, cored, and seeded, let them bob in the salty water until they're soft. To the sofrito, I add ground beef, chili powder, cumin, dried oregano, tomato sauce, mashed cannellinis, simmer for a while. Then I stir in more white beans, stuff the hearts of the peppers, drape them with cheese, and tuck the pan in the oven's mouth. Let the terrible politicians practice their terrible politics. At my kitchen table, all will be fed. I turn the radio to a classical station, maybe Vivaldi. All we have are these moments, the golden trees, the industrious bees, the falling light. Darkness will not overtake us. A poem by Barbara Cooker, poem with an embedded line by Susan Cohen, from Some Glad Morning, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.